Good morning, first and second graders. It is Tuesday, May 5th, and Tuesday usually means a phonics test and ooh, art today. There is an art project in your packet that I hope you can do by yourself because it's a present for mom. Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, and I wanted you to be able to make her something sweet from you. If you need help, I know she won't mind helping you, but I tried to pick something you would be able to make all by yourself. Follow the directions. It's in your packet, and you can do that during art time today. We are going to get busy with our books of the Old Testament, but today, instead of saying them all the way through, I'm going to say one, and you tell me what comes next. Genesis, Exodus, of course, Joshua, Judges, mm -hmm. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes is right, Daniel, Hosea, mm -hmm. Zephaniah, Haggai, mm -hmm. Lamentations, Ezekiel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, oh Jonah, what comes after Jonah? Micah. Mm -hmm. I'm skipping around all, all out of order, aren't I? That's kind of tricky. But sometimes when we're looking for a verse in the Bible, we won't always go in order. We want to know what comes next so we can find it just as fast as everybody else. And next year when it's Bible drill time during chapel, we're going to be really fast, aren't we? Because we've been practicing and nobody else knows about it. It's our secret weapon. What comes after Zechariah? Haggai? No, I don't think so. Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Yes, we, I had it backwards there for a minute. Zephaniah and Zechariah sound so similar. What comes after Isaiah? Yesterday we looked for a verse in Isaiah. What comes next? Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song, Psalm, and Isaiah. Jeremiah. We're looking for Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It's a lot of threes in a row, but get them bunched together right. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Pause the video till you find that one. Let's read Jeremiah 33, 3 together. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Who said that? Who said we could call unto me? And who said I will answer thee? God did. The Lord God said that. He said, you call to me pray, and I will answer you. But there's more. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Remember that verse from yesterday that God's thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways because they're better. Boy, when we pray and ask God, he will hear us, answer us, and amaze us. Did you see God working yesterday in your day? Did he show you some of his thoughts that were better than your thoughts? Or did you get so busy you forgot to look? Sometimes I do that. Well, let's look today. And when we come across something new or different, like yesterday, I had some trouble with Renweb, but I couldn't get my video to go on the wall where it always is. So I had to put the link to the YouTube link. And then you have to copy that link and take it over to the browser and find it in YouTube. Did anybody get to do that? Or did you just lose out? Well, it's still there. You can go find it on the Bible wall and you can still watch it if you missed it. And if RenWeb is working better today, I will get it posted and I'll repost yesterday's video too to make it easier to find. It was there, but RenWeb wouldn't cooperate. And you know, I prayed about it and the Lord just said, wait. I don't know why that was a better plan, but I did. I waited. I went on with my work. I worked hard. I checked all kinds of wonderful papers, but I didn't get them all finished yet. So I'm going to finish them up today. And I know I'm going to have a good time because I've got snacks to help me out. Thank you, Braxton. I'll be working with my snacks and I'll get the rest of those papers checked. They've been so good to look at. I don't want to rush through them and miss some of your good things. You've really done a great job on them. And I'll be sending out email messages later with how many smiley faces you earned and all the good things I wanted to tell you about your packet. I did find a couple of fun stories from the second graders. I want to read one to you before we go. 
This is called Raccoons, and it's about this picture here. Right? A story about what is happening in the picture. Sarah wrote this one. She called it Raccoons. One time, raccoons were getting something to eat. Then Grandmother saw them and ran after them until the raccoons hid in berry bushes. Then when Grandmother left, they started eating the berry bushes. Yum, they said. Cute story, Sarah. I like Kendrick's story about the raccoons also. He called it spies. They do look like spies peeking out of those bushes. The raccoons are spying on the trash cans. They are going to get some food without being spotted. When it's clear, they go and eat. Then they got spotted and died. What is it with you second graders and all these animals that die at the end of your silly stories? You're so funny. Well, first graders, I'll be looking for the good stuff in your packet so I can share with the class in the next couple of days. It is time to get busy. We've got a phonics test today and second graders. There's a reading quiz today. Don't skip over it because this one actually counts. We did several practice quizzes and today's a real one. But you get to use your book to find any of the answers you need to all by yourself. You get to use your book but not a grown up unless you need help to open the quiz or something. They can help you with that part. But first graders, that's not for you. That's only for second grade today, so don't be confused by that. There's an art project to finish. Yesterday, if you were a Star Wars fan, was May the 4th be with you. And today, if you're a Star Wars fan, is Revenge of the Fifth. But if you happen to live in Mexico, it's a special holiday called Cinco de Mayo, which I believe is how you say the 5th of May, because today is the 5th of May. And if I re understand it correctly, it's a holiday about a great military victory in Mexico against the French Emperor Napoleon back in the 1800s. So it's a great day for tacos, don't you think? Hey, have a good day. Keep working hard and doing your best, and I'll see you later.